I'm Splashes, and today we're going to try and find some use for the minecart with the chest. Now we've had these various minecarts in the game for quite a while now, and some of them, like the hover minecart, are actually very useful. And even the normal minecart is useful for moving entities around. But the chest minecart is... it's basically not used anywhere for anything, so I wanted to try and come up with some good use for this and i think i have and so what my idea is is that you would go on a large mining session where you basically have a central core along down the thing you'd go ahead and lay your track down and then you'd go back and forth on either side branching out which is how most people make their mines so with that we can go ahead and run a rail down along here and as you come back from your branch you can go ahead and just shove stuff up in here I don't have that much stuff with me right now even though I'm in creative press the button and you can fill this guy up before you press the button obviously and it will send off come up to here and it will get caught by this little mechanism here which will spit the stuff out and then you can use a sorting system to go ahead and sort everything out here and I've just made a mess to sort everything out, and then the hopper minecart will return, or sorry, chest minecart will return back to you. I'm not used to saying chest minecart because, you know, I've never actually used one of these before. But I do like this idea, and it's quite simple, and I think I'm actually going to build it in my always online world. Another idea that I had to further go along with this is that when you're pushing the or with these guys, they don't trigger the tripwire. But if you are, sit in a normal in a normal minecart like this, and you go through, it will actually trigger the tripwire, which in this case we have hooked up to a little system down underneath here, which will go ahead and turn this rail, so you can actually sort out between entities and the chest minecarts. So you could actually use this to get up and down from your mine if you wanted to. Construction of this is pretty simple, actually. When this minecart is empty, as it is right now, if we press this button and it didn't have the extra powered rails and the line was actually long enough, it would travel for 80 blocks. Though when it's full, which is the condition that we'll normally be sending the minecarts out in, then they can only travel 16 blocks. So basically every 16 blocks you just need a powered rail. And unfortunately riding on this is a little slow. Um, and I don't have a button with me so I guess I'm not going... There we go. Yeah, riding on this is a little slow but... Eh, it's whatever. You could obviously use more powered rails if you wanted to. It's just basically the minimum about, amount that you can get away with. Constructing this upper part is actually quite simple. You will only need a dropper, some redstone, some rails, a hopper, a sticky piston, some white wool. You don't necessarily need to use an end rod, a fence will work perfectly fine. A redstone, actually we don't need the redstone repeater yet, we will use that later, but we do need a redstone torch. So basically all you need to do in order to build this is first things first let's go ahead and stick down our dropper facing this way and just use a single hopper pointing in I found that for whatever reason if you use double hoppers either having the rail on top of here or on top of here sometimes the system can break and it will wind up releasing the cart all the way back so it's important that you just use this single hopper let's go ahead and stick a comparator here followed by a redstone torch and then how you actually arrange these redstone torches isn't really all that important in the grand scheme of things but I like doing it this way and then let me just go ahead and set up the rail here quickly setting up the rail itself is fairly easy as well just rail rail stick a rail on top of here and then you'll need to stick one on top of here and then you'll want to break this rail and put a block here or else the minecart will run up and over the entire thing. 
So now with this, you need to go up one, two, three, four blocks before you place the piston. One, two, three, and then this will be four here. So the piston will go here, as well as your fence post, or in this case, an end rod. And I'm only using the end rod because I think end rods look pretty. And then from here, just run some redstone dust along the top, right into there. And you now have yourself a very simple unloading system. The next step in this process is just making sure that you're able to empty out this dropper. And that's actually very simple to do. Just plop down a comparator here. Grab yourself a redstone repeater. And then just set yourself up something like that. And then you just need to make sure that this goes on top as well, which unfortunately can be a little funky. Uh, and it is important that you put these guys at different angles from each other, rather than being right next to each other, or the system will kind of break down. You could also use some sort of piston with two observers. That would work as well, and that would probably be more compact. But then you'll be firing this guy at twice the speed that you would need to, and it will power and unpower the piston a lot, and that'll be very annoying sounding. These filters are also very, very simple, or very, very simple, and there's plenty of things on how to make filters. But basically, all you need to do is put a piston face, or not a piston, a <laughs> hopper facing this way, and then you'd have these guys facing into your. Uh, the what are they called chests chests goodness gracious okay just have this guy here place this guy there nope i did that i did that last time too <laughs> it's not that way so you place your redstone torch here uh place that guy there this guy here and then just go doot doot just like that let me just grab a torch here And that is how you set up the filters, just like that. Really super simple, maybe a little bit resource intensive, but that should be a nice way for you to go on a very large digging session without having to worry about uh, running out of inventory space, because you can always send it back up and have it auto-sorted later on into some sort of sorting system similar to this, though how you choose to build the sorter is entirely up to you. Well, hopefully with that, we found some use for the minecart with a chest. Even if it's kind of a limited use, and if we're honest, at the point that you're making giant arrays like this, you could probably, you probably have shulker boxes, and you can probably just keep shoving the stuff in the shulker boxes. But on the bright side, if you die, you won't lose everything, because it will already be stored compared to if you were carrying a bunch of shulker boxes on you. <laughs> Not that that's really much reason to use this system, but it's a fun thought exercise. Anyway, I've been Splashes. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!